Cork's Sacred Heart Convent, it once catered for a hundred unmarried mothers at a time. If a girl got pregnant uh, out of wedlock, this was another mouth to feed. It was also uh, the thinking of society that um, children, that girls, uh, unmarried girls, shouldn't get pregnant, and they were rejected by their parents, by society, uh, by the, the the father who who, who was responsible. And we were here offering a service. Most of the babies dispatched to America by nuns came from just a handful of institutions. 600 or more came from the Sacred Heart homes at Castle Pollard in West Meath, Bessborough in Cork and Sean Ross Abbey in Tipperary. Almost 600 more came from St Patrick's Guild, run by the Sisters of Charity in Dublin, and another 200 from St Clare's Convent in Meath. We did the best we could. Where would they go? Would they go to? Would it be better to be uh, reared in an institution in Ireland, or to be placed in loving families in the states? Now, like all human institutions, there were failures. But from what we gathered about the children coming back, looking for their origins, they seemed to have done very well. The couple made the declaration to say that this child, and in some of the uh, states it calls this alien, will not be a burden on the American state. And the couple um, swear that they will. Uh, educate the child. There is a strong emphasis on the Catholic ethos and that the child will be sent to a Catholic school, to a Catholic university if it has the ability. And um, there are a number of state, you know, statements of income. But they deny that babies were sold. Well, it was a serious allegation to be made and we did check it out. We went through all the files. There is no evidence of money being passed. In the letters coming back, there are mention of small donation. I'm enclosing a small donation um, for your society or for your organization. To my knowledge, there was no fees involved. And I've, we have checked it with anybody who is now, who is still alive and was involved with it. The past secrets of many saddened lives are lodged in these 600 American adoption files, mostly from the 50s and 60s. Now in the hands of Sister Sarto in Cork, the files come from all three Sacred Heart homes around the country. Sister Sarto has already had 300 American adoption inquiries. I think it's a right of every individual to know their, their, their background. And uh, we help in any way we can uh, to put people in contact with their, uh, their parent of origin. I would be totally in favour of a contact register and I would, I would um, hope that it would be in, in a statutory agency. But the statutory agency may use us and use our services. The files that we have here are confidential to us. Um, and if the statutory agency, uh, like the Adoption Board, need to use us because we act for the Adoption Board, um, then we'd be only too willing to help.